Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below and I'll give you a shout out when I get around to it. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like because that helps me out for helping you guys out. And this week is not actually a request by all you guys. I have quite a few plugins that are definitely going to be out, coming up in the next few weeks. And I'm really excited about them because they're like super requested. But anyway, this is Quick Market by Mr. Cookie Slime. And the reason I'm doing this one this week is because I included it in my 20,000 subscriber prison server build last week. And it is a fantastic market plugin it is an all-inclusive market plugin it has a feature in it called market stands so you can have players rent out just uh chests to do their own market which is really cool and they can't delete the market they rent it out for so much per day and it plugs into prison utils so it has backpacks built in you could plug your backpack into a chest to expand its capacity which is really cool so then it will either fill it depending on if the market is buying or if the market is selling or sell all it has all of that stuff and it's super easy to set up we'll get into it in a second it does require cs core lib as does all of his plugins it does require bucket or spigot 1.8 plus so you need to be up to date on that uh, it does require probably the latest version of vault which i think is 154 and then an economy plugin so usually people use essentials that's in there so the permissions before we get into showing how it works is quickmarket.market.admin allows people uh, players to create uh, markets. This is the market stand that lets players sell and buy stuff. It's not necessarily the markets themselves. And then you have quickmarket.shop.infinite. This is allows your players to create admin shops. Um, and then quickmarket.shop.bypass that allows the player to modify somebody else's market or shop. Um, by default, everybody has access to create their own shop. Obviously, they would need to be in a player place that they can place a chest and a sign, and then other people need to be able to interact with it interact with it and there really is no in-game commands i'll show you guys how easy this is to set up it is fantastic we're just going to come over here and uh oops so uh pro tip you need to hold shift i'm sure all of you guys know that we're going to do bracket and then you do shop and then we're going to do one and then price uh we're just going to say 10 bucks and then uh we're going to say it's a sell so this is all from the other players view so if they're wanting to purchase stuff out of the chest that would be buy if they want to sell stuff to the chest which would take money out of your pocket and that would be sell or you could do sell all but we're just going to do sell it doesn't really matter so we've created a sign now we need to right click with it right click on it in order to change anything the first thing we want to do is maybe we need to figure out what we want to sell so we're going to go in here and we want to sell glowstone let's say so what we do then is we left click on the sign with so we left click on the sign and then we click on that to change the item to there now it is selling glowstone for ten dollars each which is probably a good good uh deal now you can modify the price by going through all of these going from you can modify it by a dollar at a time or ten cents at a time by left clicking or shift left clicking or $10 or $100 or $1,000, $10,000, just keep going. That's how you modify the price. You can move it up or move it down. If you right click on it, it's going to pull it down by whatever that amount. It's really self-explanatory. You can change this to be a sell all. So it's just going to sell everything uh, in that player's inventory is going to get sold to this this chest. Now, here's the inventory. Now, this is where you can place your backpacks from prison utils to expand the inventory of the that. And then we can uh, do buy. So if you don't have it set to sell all, you can change the amount. Once again, left click, right click, all that stuff. Uh, usage, and then it even keeps track and tells you how many times it's used. used and the amount of money going out. You can change your schedule in here so you can disable it at certain times. So it's only working if you're on or certain times of the day, whatever it is, and then you go back to the editor. 
which uh, which is really cool. Now this is where if you have that permission node of shop down infinite, you can change this to be an admin shop and we're going to leave it unchecked. And then you can actually just come in here and disable, be like, I don't really want to do anything with the shop yet. I'm going to disable it. And then you can enable it in there and then you could delete the shop in here, which then it just pops off, gives you your sign back. That's it. Like I said, it's all in game, really self-explanatory. That's so cool. Probably the hardest thing is setting the item. So second thing to set up is market stands. And this is a way that players can rent market stalls to sell items to everybody else. So what we want to do is first we want to, we want to set up a sign and we go bracket market stand and then the price per day. So it's going to be, let's just say 10 bucks a day. And there we go. It says for rent $10 a day, but we don't know what we're renting yet. We need more signs. So then we come over to whatever chest that we want to link up with this and we go right click and then do market. That's all you need to do. You can fill it out if you want to kind of like save yourself some of the trouble, but we're just going to leave it market. So now it says you're not done yet. Right click on an existing market stand sign. So now we right click on that and we've linked those two items. If we want to make multiple shops that they can rent, we're just going to come in here, do this again, market. And then we right click on that sign. So now when they right click on the sign, they can select how long they want to rent it for. So we're going to go three days. And now we have the ability to modify all of the things in here. So we can go in here and we can left click on that. Whoops. And then left click to do that. Even works if you're in admin mode and then we're selling signs and glowstone. Great stuff. And then you can even come over here and go, I don't really want it. It's going to give your money back by 50%. You can set up all that stuff and as well as the maximum amount of days. So we can't six, we can't rent it any more than that. Somebody else can't come over here and modify our market and then we can right click and abandon the market stand which means that we've given it back and then when you right click on it shop is currently disabled because nobody owns that all of these chests are completely unaffected by that we can have more other markets over here or regular shops so that's how you know if it's a rented market or a normal shop that's what it would show up so let's jump over to the config and take a look at that real quick not a whole lot to go over okay so here is our server here we're going to go into our plugins and then you can see we got that cs core lib and then quick market 1.2 in this version we're going to open up quick market we're going to open up the config here and it's pretty self-explanatory in here but i just wanted to show a couple things now the buy menu when players are buying you can, that's set to false by default you can set that to true if you'd like you can disable auto updating item name tags and then uh, markets are disabled by default. You can want to set those to true if you want to use that as well as the buy mode. You can modify all the prefixes in here. In fact, if you come back to here, you have your messages, you can modify all this. So you can make it your own color scheme, your own words, your own language, whatever you want. I love it when authors do that. It looks like we have money variables, amount variables, and then um, that is it. It looks like, oh, player variables there. So keep that in mind if you're modifying the messages. That's it. Let's jump back and wrap it all up. Okay, like I said, this plugin is fantastic. It's a super easy shop plugin. I would highly recommend it for if you have a prison server. I love it when prison servers have their own player-driven economy where players will buy and sell items from other players and help drive all that. It's just kind of a really cool community aspect and this makes it super easy for you admins and super easy for your players to just pick up and understand and know how it works. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Be sure to check it out. Link is in the jibbles to the website. This is Kaz reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. I'm gonna take the pine cone. I'm gonna examine it. <laughs> We examined it. Okay. Drop.